it's redraw time, my dudes. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Shannon Lee and it's time for more art shenanigans. Today we're redrawing a picture I did nine years ago of a cat girl who seems to be painted with the desert paintbrush from Neopets. That's right, she's not exactly ancient Egypt inspired, she's been painted with desert paintbrush. <laughs> this is a character I named Oasis. I coloured her with gel pens and I really liked how she turned out at the time and I'm still pretty proud of her. It's not that cringy, aside from the fact that it's from the cat girl phase and her head is a ball, like a literal spherical head, which, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with chibis, nothing wrong with loving chibis, blessed chibis, but I mean, mm. <laughs> there are improvements that can be made. Also, there's the fluoro skin and ears. Those, those need some work. So I thought it would be really fun to redraw her now, nine years later, and see how I've improved. The first thing I decided is that I wanted to see more of the figure in this version than in the previous one. I was avoiding drawing bodies most of the time because I wasn't confident that I could do a good job. My second decision is that I wanted it to be pretty low resolution and very noisy. The reason for this, this sounds like an excuse but I swear there's a reason. Around that time, the 2000s and 2010s-ish vibe, 2010-ish, 2010s, the 2010s, there was this art style that was really popular on Neopets pet pages, where they would take an existing picture, say, of a Neopet, and they would take all of the brightly coloured parts and then just increase the noise a whole bunch to make it look glittery and I decided I wanted my girl to look really glittery too since that's the sort of era that inspired her character in the first place. I played in a lot of Neopets and Neopets inspired a lot of my art. <laughs> Honestly still does now kinda. Indirectly. So drawing her in my current style also meant that she lost some of the chibiness. All of it, in fact. She's still cartoony, you know, she has exaggerated features, but I wanted her to look like a more unique character, and so I needed more room to move, more space for features that I could exaggerate, if that makes sense. I gave her these cat-like eyebrows that I do. I mean, I think they're cat-like, but they sort of arch and point up in the middle and then come down again and at the very outer edge, they flip up still. For some reason that speaks cat to me, I don't know if that's the same for everybody else. <laughs> In the new one, I also decided I wanted her to have more jewels. In the original, I remember wanting her to be very decorated and covered in jewelry. But because I didn't draw a lot of the character and because she was so chibified, there wasn't a lot of room to put regalia. So, in the new version, she not only has the choker and the cuffs on the hair, but she also has a chest piece and a sort of tiara with a snack, a danger noodle, as they are called. Her ears aren't pierced in as many places, and I'm wondering if that was a mistake, but it looks pretty cute with her lots and lots of piercings. I really like how her hair turned out in this one, though. I wanted it to be less flat in this version. The super flat hair that looks like it's wet, is a holdover from all of that animu influence. Um, <laughs> it's easier to animate hair when it's all in clumps like that. But in my version, I wanted her hair to have a bit more life. So I have lots of stray hairs sticking out all over the place and I think she looks a lot more playful and there's a bit more movement in the image now. Speaking of movement, I think that the sway of the back, the line of action there from her leaning forward, looks quite nice. I do think that her arms turned out pretty stiff though. I spent so long fussing over how I wanted the hands to look to get that Rara XD pose. Um, <laughs> I struggled really hard with that hand and needed my mum to pose for me for reference. I really like the sway and I like how the hands... Uh, I'm okay with how the hands turned out, but yeah, the arms turned out a bit stiff, unfortunately. They're too, there are too many parallels and uh, right angles happening, I think. All the same, I think it's fair to say there's more movement in it now than there was in the previous one.
something I really appreciate about this challenge is that you can see how important practice is. Sometimes people confuse practice with talent. Sometimes people say they wish they could draw like X artists or they say they wish they were talented at art. And it worries me that some people think you're either born a naturally gifted artist or you're not. It worries me because it could be disheartening if someone sees art as just a gift people are born with and they believe they personally don't have it, they might never even try to pursue their passion for art. And if they never practice, of course they'll never see any improvement. And they'll basically be giving up before they have even started. I don't know, maybe it's controversial, but I personally don't believe in talent or anything like that. And I'm not, I'm not trying to suggest that, oh, I'm so good. But, you know, I wasn't always able to draw the way that I draw now. Back then, people still said that I was good for my age or whatever. But by then, I'd already been practicing for like 14 years. I just like, I hear a lot of the time people saying things like, I can't even draw a stick figure. Oh my God, I wish I could draw, blah, blah, blah. And you can. It just sometimes is a very frustrating, time-consuming process to get to a point where you feel like you can draw. And I also think a big part of that is just confidence. I don't think I will ever draw anything where I think it's perfect. I don't think I'll ever be done learning how to draw. But I was lucky enough to have very supportive family growing up who believed in me and supported my passions. And because I was given the opportunity to practice when I was really little, before I even started school, by the time I started school, I wasn't concerned about what people were going to say about my art. I had already sort of built up enough confidence with it by then. And because I started at a place where I'd already practiced, people said, oh, yeah, that's good. And that's really nice. And pets the old ego, which just perpetuates the cycle. I have more opportunities to practice, I have more faith in myself, and so on. So in that way, I think I am very privileged that I had those opportunities. But for any of you out there who don't feel you have that support, or who haven't been drawing since you were one, or whatever, it doesn't mean that you aren't ever going to be at a level you want to be. I just feel very lucky that little me loved drawing so much for fun that I happen to have all this pencil mileage built up behind me already, you know? And it's not like I was doing it because I really wanted to practice and be a fancy professional or anything like that. I just wanted to make a mess and have a good time, you know? (laughs) And it just turned out that without even thinking about it, that was practice. And I was learning stuff. It's just more difficult or more intimidating, I think. More intimidating if you want to start while you're older because... People can really take the wind out of your sails, especially if you're trying something that you haven't done before. Poo-poo people's ideas. (laughs) (laughs) Poo-poo. But you can't expect to see the results you want right away. No one was born holding a pencil, just like no one was born able to do much of anything. (laughs) We're kind of useless when we're born, (laughs) and we learn stuff. I think if there is such a thing as talent at all, it's only in a very general, vague sense. The only kind of talent that exists, in my opinion, maybe if your parents worked with their hands a lot, maybe there's some kind of fine motor skills buff that's passed on to their kids, or if your parents were really observant, maybe you'll also be really observant. But I also think maybe that's a nurture thing, you watch your parents being observant, so then you become observant, or you're raised around parents who do crafty things so you're exposed to crafty things and get more opportunities then to try to do them i don't know but any of these explanations for why someone might be better are just down to how likely you are to be given an opportunity to start drawing in the first place none of them on their own are going to make you good and like i said most of the things i do i immediately dislike afterwards it's not like you get to a stage eventually where You're super confident in everything you do and you feel great. You're like, oh, I'm a proper artist now. Woo! It's more like people tell you you're good and that's really lovely, but that's not why you do it. And even then, I still get self-conscious about my work, like often. So I'm kind of hoping that this video will demonstrate that nine years does make a difference. Um, Obviously, uh, I hope, I hope it's obvious (laughs) that practice makes a difference. 
and it's not wasted time if you don't have the support in your life but you're passionate about art and you want to be better and you want to learn more I just hope that you keep doing it all the time even when people tell you not to <laughs> especially when people tell you not to <laughs> as, long, as long as it's safe I guess oh and don't be like me pay attention in maths I I didn't use it that much, but there have been some times when it would have been really nice to know how to do the things that they were trying to teach me. So on a less intense note, recently I reached a thousand followers on Instagram. Thank you so much, you guys. It's really exciting. It's cool. I was stuck at 750 for a very long time for some reason. And I'm trying really hard to post daily, but I have other things going on at the same time and it's difficult to do balance sometimes. I'm working on a commission at the moment that's going to be for Christmas cards. We're going to print them out and sell them at the cafe across the road from where I work. Oh, I guess it'll be like I'm working at both places, kind of, sorta, which I am allowed to do, just say in, check my contract. Trying to post daily on Instagram, make videos for YouTube, and do a full-time job, and do things like go to the gym, because allegedly that's good for you, and on top of that have a social life. I have a girlfriend, I'm supposed to have time for her too. How? How? That's my question. Please let me know if you have any advice about how to balance my ridiculous life. I don't know. But I'm doing my best and I think that some good things are coming. I'm developing a routine that I think is starting to work for me. And I'm very excited to keep posting more and hopefully content that interests you. On that note, please feel free to comment down below if there's anything else you'd like to see me draw. It can be challenges or characters you'd like to see fan art of. I have lots of ideas for videos but as I'm trying to figure out how to schedule my life it's kind of funny to try and prioritize which videos I'm going to make first so I am interested in hearing what you guys would like to see. Maybe I should do something Halloween-y. You're about to see a lot of flashing colors as I mess with the layer styles to try and figure out how I want to light this, I needed it to be shiny because gold stuff and jewels and, and things. But I also wanted it to be broad daylight and the problem with that is that I wanted the overall image to be pretty light and that means that I can't have a lot of contrast and that means it's difficult for me to make things look shiny. So it was a bit of a balancing act. But after we've got some soft daytime shadows in, we're about finished. Here she is, this is Finished Oasis. Please let me know what you think of her in the comment section below. Thank you so much for any likes, comments, shares and subs. And be sure to check back in for more art shenanigans. <laughs> Bye! Uh. Excuse me. <laughs>